Taurus. This is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot, my bullpen. I hope everybody is doing well. This is a speed read for Valentine's Day 2019. This is not a regular reading in any way whatsoever. It's going to be very short, not lengthy or in-depth in any way at all. Um, what else? If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can hit me up at TaurusStarTarot.com. All right, let's get started. First of all, I want to address the majors that we have on the board right here, okay? The minors, we have everybody. We have air, we have water, we have earth, and we have fire. As far as the major arcana go, we have Virgo with the Hermit, and we have all four fixed signs right here, which would be Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius. We have Taurus with the Hierophant and we have air energy with the Magician. All right, let's get to talking about this real quick. You open up this reading with the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles tells me that you are, what you have on your mind is working something out, engaging with another to build something solid. The Four of Wands comes in and says, of course, what you're trying to build is a solid foundation by which to springboard your life from. This is a card about harmony and happiness, values alignment, and building a future. Ace of Swords comes in and says, you have absolute mental clarity about how you are going to go forward in this situation in regards to teamwork and collaboration with another in order to plan your future with the Knight of Pentacles. Four of Cups says that you have evaluated and thought about this. You have contemplated this for a good minute. And if you are a regular old Taurus, this good minute is probably a long time, four weeks, four months. You've been thinking about this for a long time. When Taurus wants to make a decision, they think about it, they think about it, and then they pull the trigger and it's all in from that point forward. So you have made a decision to go all in at this point in regards to who it is you want teamwork and collaboration with, Three of Pentacles twice. The Hermit card comes in and reiterates that you have been thinking about this for a while now doing some soul searching and some introspection about choices and options and direction in your life. The Queen of Swords says that when you were in the hermit mode right there, you made an absolute decision about pursuing the Ten of Pentacles with this person, about building a solid foundation and a solid future. The Nine of Pentacles comes in and says that you're feeling self-assured, and that there is going to be a culmination to all of this decision-making process right here. Hence, the Queen of Swords. Inside yourself, you are feeling joyous and celebratory. You have a sense of peace and happiness about the decision that you have made. Five of Swords, the conflict that you have felt during this decision-making period is over. The Seven the Seven of Pentacles comes in and says that you see like this, you see this is something that's worth investing in. This card also tells me because it's crossed by the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is about reuniting and reconciling with somebody in your life, somebody from your past or somebody that you're currently maybe on the outs with right now. Could even be within your marriage, right? But this, this Seven of Pentacles tells me that you've interacted at one point in the past and your relationship did not have the opportunity to grow. It was sh cut short by, by something, okay? And you've been sowing seeds, you've been investing, and you've been waiting for this to come to fruition for a long time. So you can reunite and reconcile with somebody with the Six of Cups. There is the Nine of Pentacles again. This person that you want to reconcile or reunite with, um, you see them as a very independent, self-sufficient kind of character. The Queen of Wands comes in and says you have the feels hard for this person. World card, right? This is about completion, integration, and accomplishment. You have integrated all of these thoughts and feels. You have accomplished a decision-making process, completed a life cycle, about to start a new life cycle, surrounded 
by commitment, built on commitment, this new life cycle that you're about to go into via reuniting and reconciling with somebody in your life is going to result in commitment. The magician comes in and says that you have been manifesting this, manifesting this for a good long time, and it is finally here. Congratulations, Taurus. You have manifested solid commitment in your life with somebody that you have wanted to reconcile and reunite with because your relationship never really had a chance to grow and blossom. There you go, Taurus. This is your reading. If you liked it, please like it. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe and feel free to share this with anybody that you think it may help. Namaste, my friends.